uh, hi guys uh, welcome to my channel for another video uh, if you have not seen my previous video so please check the description and click on the link to uh, see the video hi friends uh, in our previous video uh, we did implement search functionality and then uh, we allow user to search a item using uh, product name i mean the user can search uh, anything by the product name okay so what i mean let's say if i type cake so whatever the product name that contain cake it will display over here right so let me go ahead and click search you see the one product we have here but uh in this video what we are going to do we are going to implement a function which allow you a category okay so what i mean when users select a category from here it will only show the product that has this category okay so if they search by dry food right then i want the item only here with the dry food uh, you see now we select dry food and it is there only so if i go back to the list again and i click on spices uh, you can see we have all the products over here uh, the category is spices okay so let's go ahead and implement uh, this functionality here I'll go ahead and open my my Visual Studio. I'll stop this. Okay. So to do that, what we are going to do, I'll go ahead and open our index page for the home controller, right? And you can see we did all this uh, when we are, uh, you know, doing our home page view model design, right? So if you didn't see that video, please go ahead and see that. Uh, but uh, here what we need to do in order to search by category right uh, you can see our category item is listing down here and here we have a um, anchor tag uh, where we can click to route to our home index page okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna remove this okay i'll put asp action name is index right and here i'll put a route id okay so route id mean we have asp route right and then i'll put here something like search by category okay and then this should be the name of the category okay so i'll put add item dot name and this is coming you know from over here and then when user click on this category on the name of the category it will route to our index space and we will have a, a value in the parameter that contain the name of the category okay so let's go back to our home controller here and here you, this is for search by product name and now we are also going to have another string right i'll make it as null here as well okay so now here you do see we have if and else condition here so i'll add another else condition here so that should be else right if was going to have here so it's copying it it here not equal to null right and then i will do some code over here so here what we are going to do we need to load the uh, we need to load the category that contain this name okay so here i'll put tv dot categories dot first or default and then u goes to u dot name right search by name so what it is doing we are getting the category which contain this name okay and then now our plan is to load all the product that contain this name i mean that contain this category okay here what we going to do we'll go ahead and load all the product that contains uh this category name okay so this should be search by category okay and let's go ahead put bm dot product list equal to equal to underscore db dot products dot where right u goes to u dot i put category id here because we are storing category id in the product tables right and then equal equal I'll put search by category name. Copy this posted here. So we have the ID here as well for the category name, right? 
and then we'll do the list here to list okay and now what we're going to do here we also are going to only give the category which user selected okay so to do that i'll do pm here dot categories equal to and that is called db dot categories dot where right you goes to u dot u dot name dot contains this okay we are so far good and we are sending uh this view model to our view okay so let's go ahead uh, save it run our code so you can see we have multiple uh picture here i mean uh multiple products right there right and also price so here you can see we have a product name jacket and then we have a t-shirt shoe right normal so let's try first with the uh, product name okay i'll put rise searching it and we do see we only have one product right let's go back to our home page again now we'll go ahead and search by category and then i'll go ahead and select this one and you do see we have all the omen clothes category products over here when user click on omen right and it listing down all the related product that has this category okay uh, we can go back to our list again let's go ahead check for man clothes and now you see we have all the products with man clothes category okay uh, so now uh, let's go back again to back to list now, friends uh, please if you have not seen my previous video please do watch so then you know uh, you can able to uh, you know build this beautiful application thank you for watching the video see you in the next tutorial please do share like and subscribe the channel thank you bye